Hi everyone, welcome to the KUOP channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to keep evolving our CLI. Alright, so we have uh, down, uh, made it possible to open a repository on a browser, but now we're going to be downloading that repository. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. Uh, and I'm going to be posting the links for the previous one so you can keep it up. Alright, so what we have so far is we have a way of open up my channels um, folder, right? So, and I'm going to post the links for the video that we, we created this menu and the functionality. And now I want to download the repo, right? But first I'm going to remove these spaces. I think it's too, uh, it does not make sense to have these spaces here. So it's, I think it's a little cleaner. Um, cool. So now we're going to be downloading the repo, right? So I want to be able to download the repo. And the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to say download. And I cannot forget to put download alias. And here I'm just going to copy and paste it here just to be faster. We'll download uh, repo to the parent folder of the CLI, right? Chosen alias. We'll download the repo of the chosen alias to the parent folder of the CLI. Why the parent folder? All right, so I'm, I'm, the parent folder is this one. I don't want to download to the CLI itself. I want to download to the parent folder. Cool. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to get the repo. And this is going to be on the parameter two, right? And now I'm going to check if uh, I'm going to log and I'm going to say, oh, I forgot the string log. So for my debug and say repo given, it was repo. Cool. And now I'm going to check, right? I'm going to do the same check as I did here which is if there is a value, then you can do something, right? And the value that I'm going to do is I want to check if the, these values exist. So if the person passes Java, I'm going to check if there is a value there. Cool. So I'm going to say repos. Repo, All right? So repos is the array, the whole thing, and repo is the key. So if there is, there you go. If there is something, then if there is a value, then I want to do download repo, passing the repo. And this is a function that we will be creating right now. So I can do function download repo, right? And the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to get a local, uh, the parameter here, right? So this is the parameter being sent. So I'm going to say repo is going to be the first parameter because this is the first parameter of this function. And the first thing that I'm going to say, I'm going to tell the user, say cloning, cloning repo, and I'm going to pass, say the name repo to, and to the folder project. Dir. This folder is already on the CLI. This here, the folder already knows, the CLI already knows this folder here, the QA ops. So this is that folder. 
cool. So I'm telling that, that to the user and now I need to do something, right? So I need to get what I'm going to download. So I'm going to put it here so we can use for, for uh, to visualize what you need to do, right? So when we go to the, the URLs that we are going to, to use, there are two possibilities. We can download the uh, SSH with an, an SSH URL, or we can use HTTPS. And you know that this is somewhat different, right? It is, HTTPS is different than SSH. And you need to be able to do both. I'm not sure what the user want to do. Right, so that's why we have a user config, and um, I'm going to post the video for how we did this user config and how we are using it. But in a nutshell, the idea is for the user to be able to choose how the CLI is going to interact, be interacted, right? How some of the functionalities can be changed depending on the user. Uh, optional, and I'm giving the user the option to choose between SSH or HTTPS. I don't know what the user wants to do. Cool. So the first thing that I want to do, if I, if the user wants HTTPS, there is no problem. I'm just going to download straight away the link. But if the user user wants SSH, I need to remove and create the SSH URL. So what I need to do, I need to get the repo name. So this is the repo name, right? So let me get this here and let me open here. So I'm going to put, to put this on a URL. All right, so if you can do echo URL and now I can do echo URL And I can do a substring, right? So shell has uh, many function to do functionality to do substring. There is this link here. You can, uh, I, I'm going to put uh, the link here. You can study what you, you are able to do. But what I want to do is I want to get only this, the last thing. And the last thing is after the uh, forward slash, right? So, I want to discard everything before the forward slash, including the last forward slash. And the way that I can do this, I can do, uh, there is a function in shell that I put the variable, which is a string, uh, the content is a string, and I can say uh, the hash sign twice, an asterisk, and this is going to look for the last, this is going to discard everything until the character that I put next. So this is saying discard everything until the forward slash, until the last forward slash. So when I do this, you just get docs, right? Uh, if I put hyphen, right? If I put a hyphen, you would discard everything here. And now I would get asterisk hyphen. You'd get ops docs, right? So we are using a forward slash and then it's going to get it. And this is fine, right? Because uh, there are no forward slashes on the repository name itself. You can have hyphen, underline, uh, but not forward slash. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick it up that. So I'm going to call repo name and I'm going to say, this is the repo repos repo and now I'm going to do hash hash asterisk forward slash 
these need to be inserted inside the curly brackets. Cool. Great. And now I'm going to log. The repo name found is repo name. Cool. Now I need to validate if these exist because if the person did not set this up, then it's going to mess the functionality, right? So I, I'm going to now verify if the value of this variable is empty, the dash Z is for empty, then I'm going to throw an error and I'm going to say user config not found. I'm going to break a line. Please execute in the BB setup check, which is the configuration to make sure the CLI is working. I'm giving an error I could give in red, which is going to be a red message, but the error at the end uh, has a exit command. And this is going to stop the script because this is an error. I don't want to, uh, I don't want the script to uh, keep executing. I want to stop right there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going now to validate the, if there is something, right? What, what is the actual value of the variable? So if the value is true, then I can do something, right? So I'm going to say log cloning repo name using SSH because the SSH protocol is true. I'm going to be cloning using and how I clone it. I just do git clone and now I need to create the SSH URL. So this is all the way here and I'm going to hard code this because this is my repository name, right? For the QA Ops channel. I'm not going to be changing this. This is going to be fixed. So I have no problem hard coding this. Repo name, because this is the name that we found. And I need to put dot git. Here you have dot git. And then I need to pass where I want it to be downloaded to. Because if I just do git clone, it's going to download exactly where I am executing that command and I'm executing, I can't execute that command anyway in my computer, right? So I'm going to say, I want this to be downloaded to the project dir and to the repo name, right? So it's going to download to this folder here. Cool. Else, all right, if the person wants to uh, use SSH, uh, HTTPS, I'm going to repl replicate this. And now I'm going to say git clone. And I'm going to say repos, repo. And the same thing here. All right, cool. And now let's try it out. So QA ops, let me clean up here. Delete BB, delete docs, and delete QA ops. Uh, the, this is the Java one, All right? You just have the CLI and another project that I'm working. Cool. So if I do BB, BB QA ops, I have here a, and I can do download and I can do anything. So anything, hmm, bad substitution, repo, line 60, line 60, okay. Again, it doesn't do anything because uh, there is no uh, there is no repo for that. I could throw a, a message to the user, but now let me download something that exists docs. So let me go to my home. So I'm now on my home, BB, QAOps, download docs. And it downloaded, it throw the message, it's downloaded QAOps. Docs is here. 
amazing. So now, now let's check the HTTPS. So this is going to be false. And I can show you that this was downloaded using uh, SSH because git remote dash V, this is the SSH URL, right? So now I'm going to download Cucumber. And now I should download the HTTPS. Uh, string, empty string is not valid. So th that's why we use the logs. So we can we can I can log exactly what happened, right? So this is on debug mode. So debug. And now I have more information. So repo everything it looks fine. It's using HTTPS. Is the repo found was the correct name for the repository? I gave it cucumber, so it looks fine. So let's see. Um, let's see if I can spot it. Uh, so it got all the way here without any issue. So the problem here, okay, I see. I need this needs to be a variable too, right? I did not pass as a variable. Cool. All right. So now I can download. Now it's downloading Cucumber. Note that I'm in the docs folder, but it, it's not installing here in the docs folder. Cucumber went here. So if I do git remote dash v, it got with HTTPS. So that's correct. That's what I wanted. One last thing that I want to do is like if I remove this, what happens? And if I try to download Java, it's trying to clone it and it's going to say user config not found. Please execute BB setup check. I'm missing a, 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 a apostrophe is there. So great. And you can see that it was not executed. It stopped right here because I don't want to follow because it's missing something. All right. So I'm going to put it back here. This is going to be true. And that's it. Now we can download the project uh, regardless of what we are using without knowing the URL, whatever. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to have a command to download everything. Everything that we have in the project in, in, in our project is going to be downloaded with one single command. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up. It's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. And I see you on my next video.